All right, welcome back, people. We're on part three of Los World Worldcast. We got drinks now. I got juice of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Our, this is like the dedication to uh, where this is going, and we're gonna continue as the movies release. And right now, we're busting, we're knocking out a bunch of them. So you see us in the same clothes and stuff. Geekasm, we're, off, right? we're having a we're having a two three hour geekasm researching going over. But what you guys are getting in a couple or a couple minute clips. Now we've already covered a couple of things. We're gonna get right into the Amazing Spider Man two and X Men Days of Future Past. Amazing Spider Man two in my eyes was a high B plus, maybe an A minus. Um, it made ninety million over the weekend as opposed to a Captain America hundred million. First and foremost, what is it suffering from? Is it suffering from market saturation? Is it too close? Is it too f close behind Captain America and too close to X Men uh, four or five, whatever the hell they're on now? Um, <clears throat> they are the Days on of Future Past. What is it suffering six, from actually. that it only did? 90 million dollars isn't you know nowadays since these movies cost so much and you know we're, these movies are so used to making so much money 90 million was almost not considered a serious success give me your theory as to why it didn't break 100 million this weekend well first and foremost i just want to come out and say that amazing spider-man 2 was better than what i expected i actually me went too, there with me too. Actually, yep, yeah, yeah me too because they actually suffer from something also called spider-man 3 disease Oh man, Raimi's um, joint. Raimi's joint. When mm -hmm. Raimi was stuffing a lot of elements, but at you least went in nuts, this, dude. You in, this nuts. in this movie, at least we got those elements moving, and they, we actually saw character growth and character growth is and, huge. And, and, and that's we needed it because when Emma dies, oh shit! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Everyone have it. People, it when, did ninety million majority. When Emma Stone's seen. character, Gwen Stacy, dies. Right. Right at the end of uh, Spider-Man 2. In the Marvel Universe, no one ever really dies. It was, it so. was meaningful. She right. dies. She's the big thing. She's yeah. not coming back. She's not coming back. She's a special coming character back. or something. They no. won't hit her with soldier serum. Mary, Mary Jane is, is the next, the next up to bat. But uh, she's done. And, and that's symbolic because that was the big loss of Peter Parker's life. Where he learned that he can't have a happy ending and, and you know be Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, you see growth. And okay. in the movie, we saw Electro... Uh, I think Let's talk Jamie about Electro. Fox did well. I we? went in there with the huge, the big fear, is Jamie Foxx going to blow this? Because Jamie Foxx, when it comes into locking someone that's uh, non-fictional, can kind of disappoint. I, I go back to uh, Horrible Bosses. He was like funny, but not funny. And then initial... The initial but it was still I really like hate that movie. it was like he was like a character was kind of thrown. Out. I hate Horrible to mix that in. I don't even know. I apologize Those type that of I did that. Are terrible. But um, him as Electro, it went from a really really horrible normal guy when I he was working like, for Oscorp. He I was, felt he, like he they was, balanced the because Amazing Spider-Man two. If you do not like flashy comic booky movies, you're not gonna like this movie. Right. This movie, uh, Mark Webb. I also made a, a error before. Oh yeah, correct. Joe yeah. Johnson, Joe Johnson directed, directed, Captain directed Cap One. Kenneth Branagh directed Thor One. There you go. Clarify. I had to clarify that. There you go. Because they were gonna get on you about yeah. that. No, they were, and I was gonna get on myself. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but so hold on. Okay, hold Mark on. Electro. Webb. Mark Webb. Electro. Electro. Mark Electro. Webb wrote a story about a guy who was kind of awkward. Changed mm. his. It was his own input of Max Dillon. They, right. they rewrote it. They took a couple elements from the Let's ultimate this. story. They didn't really <laughs> touch on the six one six version. We didn't see the sparky suit, but there were there were there was there were uh, jabs that Peter Parker used. He called him Sparky. He called him uh, what do you call him? Uh, uh, Star Spangled Banner. I forgot what he called him. He, used, he was using a bunch of de jabs that he used in the comic book. When so they, when, when Electro and Spider Man fought, that he did <laughs> play the itsy bitsy spider when he was firing they his bolts off. He's like, and end. he said, "I hate that song." You remember that? Yeah, I do. I mean, okay. It's a little thing. See, I know a little something. I'm not too fully educated, but I know a little something. A little something. So anyway, Amazing Spider-Man 2, Electro, went in there with the fear that Jamie Foxx was going to ruin it. He delivered. I didn't think he delivered on the on the, on the, the, the Max Dillon part, but I did think he delivered as Electro when he went in through the socket and traveled that way and became energy. I thought the CGI was absolutely was amazing, amazing along the lines of, of uh, with that same engine that runs Avatar. It, it, that 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 that's what it reminded me. It was so clear. I love how they slowed down everything. I love the threading of the web when he went to go it when it traveled through all those broken pieces of the clock. So I ended off with uh, Spider-Man getting an A minus, be a strong B plus in my eyes. And you, 
because of all the Easter eggs, and there's a lot of them. And this is what I was going to ask you next. What are the Easter eggs? Well, give it, give it your grade. B plus. B plus. Now, Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man Two Easter eggs are. <clears throat> so, this is where fanboys go absolutely nuts for movies like this because throughout the entire movie we got name drops, we got serum. Give me some name drops. Okay, Felicia Harden. Felicia Harden. For one. Okay. AKA the Black Cat. Uh-huh. Who has a very uh intertangled uh, origin story with <laughs> Disney Marvel and the Captain America serum, which is one. Mm. We get Alistair Smythe, which is a big name drop. He actually uh works with the Kingpin a lot and he also develops the Spidey Slayers. So mm. look for that in future installments. We also get references to Venom. Venom is all over this movie. They even go into a joke and they say uh the spider venom because that was definitely a nod if, if if you hear that word inside a Spider-Man movie, there's only one place your mind goes. When when Spider-Man, when Peter Parker goes down into the subway and he figures out the coins are in the calculator that he left by his dad, they show the the uh, the train coming up out the uh, the rails, yeah, right? Yeah, and in the tight left hand corner, there's a, a box. There's oh, I'm sorry, there's a uh, cabinet with glass, and inside those glass cabinets are these vials that have a black or a dark dark substance in them. They're supposed to, is that supposed to be symbiote? Is it supposed to be venom from the moon? The from from what I was explaining to me, what you thought? Because again, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! At the end of that scene, Peter Parker's dad, Richard Parker, says that he injected Richard's his own DNA, Richard Parker's DNA, into the spiders, so right. that they would need a Parker to continue this research. Okay, with the spiders at least. Mm -hmm. When Parker gives the lizard the the decay rate algorithm in Amazing Spider-Man 1, then he gave Osborn and Oscorp the ability to use alternate DNAs to use other animals and other creatures to become other villains. Mm -hmm. Right? Did I lose you? No. I'm okay. With you, I'm with you 100%. So... No, I wouldn't say that Just was keep, the Venom keep them, reference. Keep them locked in. That wasn't the Venom reference. The Venom reference to me, again, if you saw the spoilers that came out before the movie, there's a scene where Harry's on the board and they're listing all the projects on um, that Oscorp has mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. they're developing. And mm -hmm. there's a ve uh, it says Venom experiment on, mm -hmm. one, on one of them. There's three of them, actually. Yeah, there's a couple of Venom mm -hmm. things on there. So, and again, if you saw the movie... Right at the end where Harry was going to go for the serum, they keep calling that serum the spider venom. Ooh. And that was probably an ultimate nod. Even though he doesn't get the venom, there was a rumor going out there that they may go ultimate style and give Harry Osborn the venom symbiote. But they didn't. They mm -hmm. made him the goblin. Well, to make these crazy awesome movies, they can kind of pull from... They take what they want. They do. Exactly. They take what they want. Right. Um... Anything we else saw, you want to end yes, up with? Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> the big one. The big one. The one that everyone will be talking about until the next one comes out. We will see the Sinister Six. That is confirmed. Speculation on whether we see Mysterion, Chameleon, Craven are still out there. But we Vulture, do know we're getting Vulture, Vulture, Ock, Rhino, Rhino. Minus confirmed. that mech suit. If the direct, if anybody from tomorrow, get rid of the mech suit. Give him some type of serum. Make him like he was in the comic book. Get him out. He's not shooting bullets and rockets. Let's get rid of that. People, I can tell already, didn't like it. It just didn't go over well. That's why they saved it. To oh, them. you mean well, not that? saved it, but they put it. They tacked it on the back end. You mean the Rhino Zord? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's feeling that. All right. Next up, Days of Future Past. Now I'm really excited about Days of Future Past. Hold on, hold on. Time out. Let's save that for the next video.